Practicing Subtraction 6.8 We can practice what we have learned so far. Remember, check to see if we need to regroup first. We have 86 minus 49. We can see that the 9 is greater than the 6. So we need to regroup. We cross off the 8, it becomes a 7. We give the 10 to the 1's place, it becomes a 16. We cross off the 6. Now we have 16 minus 9. That's a 7. And we have 7 minus 4. That's a 3. Here we have 63 minus 28. We look at the 1's place and see that the 1's, the 8 in the subtrahend, is larger than the 1's in the minuend. So we need to regroup. We cross off the 6. It becomes a 5. And we give that 10 to the 1's place, so the 3 becomes a 13. 13 minus 8 is 5, and 5 minus 2 is 3. We get 35. All right? So let's try doing it without the box with the 10's and the 1's written for the columns. All right? Here we have 70 minus 35. We can see the 5 is greater than the 0, so we need to regroup. This 7 becomes a 6. We give it to the ones place. Instead of a zero for ones, we now have ten ones. Ten minus five is five, and six minus three is three. If you practice your subtraction facts, you'll be able to go faster. You won't have to count on your fingers so much. Here we have 72 minus 25. We can see the five is greater than the two, so we're going to have to regroup. The 7 becomes a 6. We give that 110 to the 1's place, so the 2 becomes a 12. 12 minus 5 is 7, and 6 minus 2 is 4. We get 47 for our difference. Here we have 65 minus 22. The 2 is smaller than the 5, so we don't have to regroup. 5 minus 2 is 3, and 6 minus 2 is 4. Our difference is 43. We didn't have to regroup because the 2 was smaller than the 5. Now remember, we can write the numbers so that they're stacked. If we see them written like this, we can rewrite the number sentence so it's stacked so that we can regroup. We see the 7 is larger than the 4, so we need to regroup. The 5 is going to become a 4. We give the 10 to the 1's place, so the 4 becomes a 14. 14 minus 7 is 7. That's a double, isn't it? And 4 minus 1 is 3. Our difference is 37. It's easier to subtract and regroup when it's written stacked like this than when it's written as a number sentence. We could just rewrite it. We have a number sentence, 85 minus 29. We can see the 9 is larger than the 5, so we can rewrite it stacked. We know we have to regroup because the 9 is larger than the 5. The 8 becomes a 7. We give the 10s to the 1s place, so the 5 becomes a 15. 15 minus this 9 is a 6. And 7 minus 2 is 5. All right? So rewriting can help. Let's try some problem solving. It says to circle the better estimate. Remember we talked about estimating in video 3.6, and there'll be a link to that video in this description in case you need to watch it. Bob caught 29 fish. He gave 18 to his mother, and he gave the rest of the fish to his grandmother. About how many did he give to his grandmother? So we think is it going to be about 10 or about 50? We think that 29 is very close to 30, isn't it? That's the next number, 30. And 18 is very close to 20. And we subtract. We can do 30 minus 20. Well, that's 10. And it's not the exact amount. It's an estimate. So we can say he gave about 10 to his grandmother. That would be the correct answer. 50 would be too many. 
He only had 29, and if he gave 18 to his mother, he wouldn't have more. He wouldn't have 50, would he? That doesn't make sense. Now, what if Bob only gave eight to his mother about how many could he have given to his grandmother? About 20 or about 30? Now, remember, 29 is close to 30. That's how many he caught, all right? And eight, if he had only given eight to his mother instead of 18, if he had only given eight, well, that's close to 10. So we could do 30 minus 10. Three tens minus one ten is two tens. It's 20. It's not the exact amount. It's an estimate. He would have given about 20 to his grandmother. See? We just look for what number it's close to. 29 is close to 30. 18 is close to 20. And 8 is close to 10. And we use those to make an estimate. Okay? All right. We're going to continue on and we're going to talk more about problem solving in the next video. I hope you're having a great day. I'm proud of you for trying, and I'll see you next video. Bye.